What is up you guys, this is JP coming at you with another video. If you guys want one-on-one -on -one training, small group training, or online training, you can email me jp at jpfitnesspro.com or you can message me at any of the links in the description down below or in my channel description. There's gonna be a bunch of my social media links. You can message me at any of those social media platforms. Just shoot me a message, let me know what you want. Second thing is, I hope you guys have been enjoying the video game streams. I've been enjoying playing them. The first stream, I streamed Mortal Kombat 11. The second stream was Halo 5. There's a lot of games that I can stream going forward. Um, probably some Elder Scrolls. Uh, in the future, I do want to get a Nintendo Switch so I could play Smash Brothers. Um, Devil May Cry 5. There's a lot of games I could do going forward, but so far I'm enjoying the games that I've done uh, so far. Today's video is going to be about The Smith Machine. I've gotten this question before and I see it online a lot. Um, a lot of you guys ask if the Smith machine is a good machine. Is it pointless? Should I use it? Um, you'll hear, you might hear your friends say, oh, you know, that's, 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 you know, a machine for pussies or whatever. They may say it's just a machine that you shouldn't use or it's for weenies. Use a, a regular bench press, um, which that's, that's wrong depending on what you're trying to do and what you're talking about. Um, the first thing that you want to address is if your goal is strength. If your goal is strength, strength is specific to a skill or an exercise or activity, whatever it is. When someone says they're strong, what are you strong? Are you strong at a deadlift? Are you strong at a bench press? Strong is a very general term that's very vague. So unless you're trying to be strong in something that involves a Smith machine, a, a Smith machine bench press or a Smith machine squat, which most people don't, they want to be strong in the traditional exercises, then this might not be your best bet, depending on, again, what your goal is to be strong at. Now, most people aren't asking that in regards to strength. They're asking that in regards to hypertrophy. So in regards to hypertrophy, gaining muscle, the golden question is, the, is the, the Smith machine pointless? Is it a waste of your time? And the short answer is mm, no, definitely not. Um, this is just a lack of understanding of hypertrophy training if someone says that the Smith machine is just a piece of equipment that you shouldn't use to gain muscle. The main thing that a Smith machine, okay, we'll say this like this, there's a spectrum. Over here on this side of the spectrum, you have the very, very, very linear machine exercises. It could be for pressing, it could be for legs, but they're very linear. They're on one fixed a plane of motion. There's no, uh, there's no uh, dynamic factor to them. You don't have to control them. Um, you don't need to move them around or anything like that. It's just one plane of movement. You just press in one fashion. It could be like a machine chest press or, or a leg press of that sort. Then on this end of the spectrum, you have very dynamic movements, uh, single leg dumbbell exercises, things like that. Um, yeah, single leg dumbbell exercises or single arm dumbbell exercises, things in that realm. You kind of have this spectrum and the more you go this way, the more you go to the dynamic, ex dynamic exercises, the more you're making it less and less stable, which means that you are not able to apply maximal force to whatever resistance you're holding or using. Um, so in regards to a Smith machine on this spectrum, the Smith machine is definitely more closer to this way, more towards the machines. Now, for athleticism or for being dynamic, is the, the, the Smith machine the best? No, but in regards to hypertrophy, what a Smith machine lets you do is it lets you overload the muscle group that you're trying to work, whether this be squats, whether this be chest, whether this be a shoulder press. Yes, it's not very dynamic. It's, uh, it's not, but I mean, it's going to be able to target the specific muscle that you're doing. And the the amount of skill that you need to use a smith machine for most exercises is very low again it's just on one fixed pattern it's not there's not much skill take like let's just say a smith machine squat if someone were to have if i took a beginner and i had them do a squat under using a smith machine bar and then i had them do a squat with uh, just a regular standard barbell there the barbell is going to be a lot harder to control especially at the beginning i'm not going to be able to be able to overload that those muscle groups as much as I could on a Smith machine, because again, they don't have any front to back pattern or front to back uh, motion that they can do on a Smith machine. It's just straight up and down. You know, there's not much to mess up here. Obviously there'll be some cues and things that I could probably fix, but essentially there's not much to mess up here. They're, you know, the bar's going straight down, um, obviously because of gravity, and then you just drive four straight down and the bar just goes straight up. Again, there's no 
dynamic factor to this. So we're able to overload those specific muscle groups um, to cause a hypertrophic response. There has to be a certain amount of tension applied to the muscle for you to maximize hypertrophy. When you go too low tension, you're not going to maximize that hypertrophic response your body gets from whatever exercise that you're doing. Again, on this side of the spectrum, if I had you do a single leg unilateral uh, or a single leg unilaterally loaded squat on a BOSU ball, you're not going to be able to overload that leg unless you're just like a balance master or something. Um, but if I had you do, again, a double legged squat on the Smith machine, I bet you I'm definitely going to be able to overload it to the point where you can easily get near failure. Um, on that example I just said before on the single leg BOSU ball squat that's unilaterally loaded, I'm not going to be able to load it at all or any and get you to failure because you're not going to be able to really do that many squats, if any at all, because you're going to be focused more on balance and stability. Um, so that's pretty much what it comes down to is that you just don't have enough stability to be, to be able to overload that muscle and apply the required amount of tension to get that hypertrophic response. So again, a Smith machine is not a wasted time in regards to hypertrophy. Hypertrophy you can get through a bunch of different lanes through a bunch of different exercises. It's not one specific exercise that causes hypertrophy on a muscle group. You can get hypertrophy of the chest, for example, using the Smith machine, bench press, dumbbells, flies, push-ups, all types of things. Um, it's not just one exercise. Can a Smith machine definitely be help to get you to reach uh, more goals in regards to gaining muscle and hypertrophy? Yes, definitely. Now, is it the absolute best thing ever? Again, it just depends on you. If you have a shoulder injury, um, a regular bench press might not be your go-to. Um, there might be other reasons why you'll use a Smith machine. Again, because of lack of stability. If you can't balance that good during a bench press, um, a Smith machine might be something that is good for you. Let's just say you have a, a really bad leg injury and you have poor leg drive and driving the bar paths a certain way is just not something that you can do. You don't, you can't do an optimal bar path during a bench press. There's only one bar path for a Smith machine. It's straight up and down. That might be a better reason why you use Smith machine. But ultimately, no, the Smith machine is not a waste for hypertrophy. There's one end goal and that's to maximize gaining of muscle. That's different from strength or strength. You want to get strong at any specific exercise, whether that be a bench press. If you want to get strong at a bench press, the principle of specificity applies heavily here. You need to bench press a lot and you need to bench press a lot heavy often. Um, if you're bench pressing a lot, but you're not ever bench pressing heavy, you want maximized strength gains. Hypertrophy is a little bit different. So if you guys have any friends shitting on the Smith machine, show them this video. If you thought the Smith machine was pointless, it's definitely not a bad piece of equipment. It's just a tool that you need to apply to every single individual. And most pieces of equipment is going to have their place. If you guys have any questions, comments, please post them down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.